In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Those who ignore warning and turn away from the path of God, He sends their deeds astray. But those who heed warning and do righteous deeds and believe in what was sent down upon Muhammad, and it is the truth from their Lord, he will remove from them their evil deeds and make right their state. For it is that those who ignore warning follow falsehood, and that those who heed warning follow the truth from their Lord. Thus does God strike for men their similitudes. And when you meet those who ignore warning, then the smiting of the necks. When you have battled them strenuously, then make strong the bonds. Then either grace thereafter or ransom until the war lays down its burdens. That when, had God willed, he would have taken revenge upon them, but that he might try some of you by means of others, ellipsis, he wills that you should fight. And those who are slain in the cause of God, he will not send their deeds astray, he will guide them and make right their state and make them enter the garden he has made known to them. O oh, you who heed warning, if you help God, he will help you and make firm your feet. But those who ignore warning, for them is wretchedness, and he will lead their deeds astray, for it is that they were averse to what God sent down, so he made vain their deeds." Have they not travelled in the earth and seen how was the final outcome of those who were before them? God destroyed them, and for the false claimers of guidance are the likes thereof, for it is that God is the protector of those who heed warning, and that the false claimers of guidance have no protector. God makes those who heed warning and do righteous deeds enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. But those who ignore warning enjoy themselves and eat as the cattle eat, and the fire is a dwelling for them. And how many a city stronger than thy city which has turned thee out have we destroyed, and there was no helper for them. Is then he who is on clear evidence from his Lord, like him to whom has been made fair the evil of his deeds, and they follow their vain desires? The likeness of the garden which is promised those of prudent fear, therein are rivers of water incorruptible, and rivers of milk, of unchanging taste, and rivers of wine delightful to the drinkers, and rivers of purified honey, and they have therein every fruit and pardon from their Lord, like him who abides eternally in the fire, and they are given to drink scalding water that lacerates their bowels. And among them are some who listen to thee, when they have gone forth from thy presence, they say to those who have been given knowledge, What said he just now? Those are they whose hearts God sealed, and they follow their vain desires. And those who are guided, he increases them in guidance, and gives them their prudent fear. So look they save for the hour that it will come upon them unexpectedly, and its tokens have come. So how to them when it has come will be their remembrance. And know thou that there is no God save God, and ask thou forgiveness for thy transgression, and for the believing men and the believing women and God knows your going to and fro, and your dwelling. And those who heed warning say, 
Oh, that a surah were but sent down. Then when an explicit surah is sent down, and killing is mentioned therein, thou seest those in whose hearts is disease, looking at thee with the look of one overshadowed by death. But better for them are obedience and fitting speech. Then when the matter was determined, had they been true to God, it would have been better for them. And would you, perhaps, if you turned away, work corruption in the land and sever your kinship? Those are they whom God has cursed, so he made them deaf and blinded their sight. Will they then not consider the Qur'an with care? If there be locks upon their hearts, those who turned back after the guidance had become clear to them, the Satan has enticed them and granted them respite, for it is that they said to those who were averse to what God sent down, We will obey you in part of the matter. But God knows their secrets. So how will it be when the angels take them, striking their faces and their backs? For it is that they followed what angered God, and were averse to his approval, so he made vain their deeds. If those in whose hearts is disease think that God will not bring forth their ill will, and had we willed, we would have shown them to you, then wouldst thou know them by their mark. But thou wilt know them by their tone of speech, and God knows your deeds. And we will test you until we know the strivers among you and the patient, and we will test your assertions. Those who ignore warning and turn away from the path of God and make a breach with the messenger after the guidance has become clear to them, they will not harm God at all, but he will make vain their deeds. O you who heed warning, obey God and obey the messenger and make not vain your deeds. Those who ignore warning and turn away from the path of God then die as atheists, God will not pardon them. So relent not and sue for peace when you have the upper hand, and God is with you, and he will not deprive you of your deeds. The life of this world is only play and diversion, and if you believe and are in prudent fear, he will give you your rewards and not ask of you your wealth. If he asks it of you and presses you, you are miserly, and he brings forth your ill will. Here you are called to spend in the cause of God, then among you is he who is miserly and whoso is miserly, he is but miserly against his soul. And God is the free from need, and you are poor. And if you turn away, he will replace you with a people other than you, then will they not be the likes of you.'